doing all right. You know, it, it's a trying time for sure. Yeah. Um, you guys able to get everything you need? I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. I ordered from uh, Walmart last night. I, I tricked, well, I shouldn't say I tricked them. I actually uh, ordered um, all my food, and they said there was no delivery time yet. And I they said, yeah, we'll have to wait till the next day. So I waited till midnight, and guess what? I got through. So, you know. Oh, anyway. nice. Yeah, okay. but we'll we'll see what's left by Wednesday, you know, see, you know, my $120 bill, see if it'll, if it'll come down to like $32 or something. Yeah, so. see if there's stuff actually there. Holy yeah. crap. Yeah, so. Oh. Well, but, let me know if you, if you just need something, I can run to the store and drop it off for you, too. I'm happy to do that. Now, how are you, how are you doing as far as that whole thing goes? You know, I'm okay. I'm, you know, pretty much we're, I'm home. Chris, of course, is working, um, but um, I'm home. And working from home, we the only time I leave is if we need food. Um, you know, we've done some yeah. takeout from places, uh, trying to support the local businesses, but it's you know that's hard. Yeah. Um, you know, because you feel bad for everybody, and you know it's not going to be quite enough. But I want them to know that we that we're still here, and there we we get it. Um, but it's tough. Yeah. It's tough. Um, but we're hanging in there, you know. Um, like I said, Chris is going, he's a pharmacist, so he's at Rite Aid, you know, and oh, he's okay. leaving the house every day. So he gets enough exposure for both of us. Right. Um, you know, so that's hard. So do you, um, do you do the drop the clothes at the door and take a shower? <laughs> we haven't done that quite yet, but, uh, you know, he's, he's, you know, he's not touching people, um, and he's somewhat distanced from them, you know, at the counter, but it's, yeah, I mean, he's being very careful when he comes home, he does change his clothes and, you know, puts them in the washer and, yeah. um, you know, it's just, it's a weird, it's weird. And then the uncertainty of what's to come, you know, for the playhouse for the next, you know, month. Yeah. Um, I've already canceled everything through April. Um, that's happened. I've got one more show. I've got to contact people for on April, but that's going to be canceled too. Cause you know, now they're saying it's, uh, you know, till April 30. Yeah, you can't um, even can't even do anything outdoors. I mean, you know, because yeah. you can't have a crowd of people together. Nope. To view nope. anything. So, so we're kind of going to more. Like, we're working on more online stuff. Um, you see a lot of the concerts and people doing, you know, musicians doing stuff stuff from their living rooms. Um, right. Chris and his uh, like three other actor friends all did uh, the Monty Python, the Four Yorkshiremen. They each took their lines and recorded them, you know, themselves doing them, and then we oh, sent that... them to our friend. Yeah, and sent That's them to great. our friend in Chicago. Um, and they, their daughter is putting it, she put it together in a video and we're going to put that up as content. So we're hoping that, you know, we're just going to continue to reach out to people with funny stuff and just, um, also at some point with musicians to be able to, um, uh, you know, musicians to, uh, be able to have them do concerts that they can, you know, get money for. And then maybe we get some for the playhouse as well. So yeah, yeah. that's what we're doing. There's a, there's a ton of them out there right now, as far as different musicians that are doing things. I mean, that one yeah. that they, the weight the, by the band that yep. they had Ringo Starr and, uh, actually Robert, Robbie Robinson and, and so many other people from around the world that did that, that song. And I thought it was just amazing. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it was. I mean, how they put it all together and everything, you know, everybody wearing headphones to get ready for their yeah. part, you know, it's just. Amazing what they can do today. I mean, even though they can't be together, they can still record something that nice and, and, uh, yeah. you know, share it with everybody. A uh, young lady that did, uh, um, um, was that one of that, uh, Titanic song, uh, my heart must go on or whatever it's called. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she's a young lady in her house with her, I don't know, husband or boyfriend or whatever, just singing, you know, to the, mm -hmm. to the phone. It sounded great. You know, I just, that's awesome. yeah. it's pretty amazing stuff. And the one thing that surprised me, I mean, I, Paul Simon, he did his, you know, the boxer, one of my favorite songs right. of Paul Simon's and, but it, it, it didn't sound that <laughs> great. I'm thinking, come on, you're Paul Simon, man. <laughs> you know, I <laughs> yeah, remember, I, I remember Art Garfunkel explaining that, that whole thing where he said, you know, I, uh, Paul Simon was crazy because he had to go into cathedral to record the boxer and he had to step in different spots in the cathedral to get the right echo. And here he is in, you know, in front of a, look like a cheaper phone <laughs> yeah, that he did it in front of. But anyway, you know, I, I guess it's just, he still spent time to do it. So that was cool. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of amazing. I saw one by, I think it was Cheryl Crow did one and, sure. and just, it's just amazing how people are, are, dealing with this whole thing. And I think it, you know, and it just goes to show for me personally, you know, how much people rely on the arts um, for, 
comfort and um, connection. Um, so that's kind of an interesting thing. I mean, we know it, you know, somewhere, you know, you know that that's the case, but in times when you are unable to connect physically with people, how much the arts, you know, step in to, to bridge that gap. And I think that's been pretty cool too. Now, how is this going to affect, you know, you in the playhouse as far as that goes? I mean, you know, you're talking about, we're talking about supporting our yeah. businesses around, you know, for takeout sure. and this and that, but how is that going to affect the playhouse? You know, right now we've canceled everything through, you know, the end of April, but it's tough. I mean, you know, where it's, it feels so uncertain in the way right. that, you know, you, you don't want to cancel things too early, but you don't want to put yourself in a position to have to do it later. Um, so, you know, it's not, we're not just affecting ourselves. It's the entire community. It's those right. who've already purchased tickets. It's the artists. Um, that are, you know, a big concern for us. And, you know, during this time when it's difficult for artists to, you know, make money and, and uh, get out there, you know, how do we how do we balance that? So um, part of it is, you know, looking forward into that crystal ball that you hope works and um, thinking, OK, we know that it's through the end of April. So we're going to continue with things into, into May until we can't. Um, you know, we're trying to good, use good judgment, but it's tough. It's tough to make those calls. Well, pl- plus you've got the the people like myself, you know, who are is going to be afraid to actually come out and visit in May. Oh yeah. So mm-hmm. I mean, that's another thing. Are you going to be able to get a, a crowd of people to actually sit, you know, close enough together? I mean, are yep. they all going to sit six feet apart? I mean, how how right. are we going to do this? You know. Yep. So, and we've actually talked about that, uh, and so if it's the point, you know, so if you know, yes, the quarantine is over, or the you know the the you know stay at home, you know, uh, orders are over, but how do you, you know, judge what people are going to be willing to do? Um, right. you know, what's the comfort level of the artist? Um, oh, you know, yeah, when you, yeah. you know, some, you don't want people coming together that shouldn't be together in a room. Um, so it's, it's a, it's a fine line that we're all walking. I just actually had a, um, Zoom, uh, conference call with the Michigan presenters, Com- uh, organization, which I'm part of, which are all these presenting or- organizations across the state of Michigan, you know, Midland center for the arts, um, the Ramsdale theater, um, you know, organizations in Detroit and Ann Arbor and all around the state. And we're all talking about, you know, how we're all approaching this and at what point did, everyone decide, okay, this is what we're going to do for now and what they're projecting out to be their, you know, their comeback dates. And for a lot of the ones down, like in the Metro Detroit area, they're looking into fall. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because, you know, they're, the outbreak is so bad Terrible. there, yeah. um, you know, and they're, you know, they're talking, you know, they've got, they had the Michigan, the American Ballet Theater company is supposed to be coming in and they spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on the show mm-hmm. uh, to bring it into Detroit for five shows. And so, you know, they're talking a lot of money, um, and so we're, there was discussions about, you know, what is the, you know, federal government relief going to be for arts organizations? Um, you know, how do we, you know, how do we move forward, um, knowing that's going to be a concern for all of us. Right. Yeah. Detroit, of course, in the, that the east side of the state, that's, you know, a lot of my cousins and relatives are all, all yeah. live over there. So it's like, it's just, it's just scarier every day, but yep. we got to stay positive and I don't know how to, how to, uh, <laughs> make this conversation a positive conversation, but I guess we can, we can talk a little bit about the, uh, the businesses around uh, the sure. White Lake area that are, are trying to uh, stay in business. And we, you know, mm-hmm. same with Muskegon, of course, all the different places in Muskegon that are open. Absolutely. And uh, now I've now see, I, I did, I posted, I'm not, I don't think I started it, but I, I posted uh, back when our, what was it? The 18th of March when I, mm-hmm. you know, got pizza from big John's over here in Whitehall. Yep. And, uh, you've been doing the same thing. And I noticed quite a few people now are doing the same thing. I'm sure it wasn't me that started it, but it was still kind of a nice thing that people are posting that they're getting Mm -hmm. food at these different locations. So just, just in the White Lake area, you, you sent me uh, some information. Now, if people want to find out what places are open and the times and all that stuff, is there a Mm -hmm. website they can go to? You know, I actually found that um, was posted on a Facebook page from the White Lake Area Chamber of Commerce. Okay. So it has a nice listing of the businesses that are that are still open, that are still offering takeout, um, and those that have temporarily temporarily closed. Um, but there's a there's a big list there, and so um, actually, my husband it was my husband's idea to say, hey, let's at least once a day, um, you know, try to eat out. 
Um, so that's what our goal has been. It, it hasn't been every single day, but almost every day we've either done dinner or lunch. Yeah. And it's been really great. We've been able to, um, you know, go to almost every restaurant in town. So, so far, you know, uh, in both Montague and Whitehall, um, you know, and it's nice to run around and, and, you know, just check in with people, even if it's just stopping in through the door at Piccadilly to pick up your bag on the shelf. Um, you know, they've, everybody's kind of implemented, um, you know, distancing ways of picking up food, right. um, making ordering online super easy, or you call in, you know, and order over the phone and you give them your credit card, um, trying to tip generously, um, you know, to help kind of bridge that gap. Um, that everybody's kind of going through right now. But I know they're, you know, the businesses that we've gone to are super appreciative. And I think they just like to know that they're not in this alone. Right. And, you know, some of the places that are closed too, you kind of, you worry about them, like the book nook, you know, that yeah. they, they can't, they aren't doing the food service. I mean, you know, of course it's a book place, but they also offer lots of food, but yep. it's kind of hard in that situation, the way they're set up. I mean, how would they really do it? You know, a takeout right. thing without, you know. And the same with the uh, cafe 31, because there's, yep. there's also, you know, another store attached to that cafe. So it makes it kind of yeah. difficult that way. But, uh, yeah, I saw, I noticed that, I, ter, uh, Terry and I took a, took a ride, my wife and I took a ride around uh, town just to take a ride, just to get out of the house, but, you mm-hmm. know, stay in the car. And, um, we went around and saw all the different businesses that were open and we, we were surprised to see that the, uh, uh dog and suds reopened. So that was, yeah, they're open down there by the water. Yeah. And, uh, so it's nice to see, you know, it's a little ray of hope. It's always when the dog and suds opens, you know, that spring is right around the corner. So right. it's nice to, to see that. Um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, and it does give you a, a moment to get out in the community when you go either pick up food or, you know, you go to the store when you have to. Um, but really that's all I'm doing currently is, you know, working from home and, um, running out to get, you know, food from time to time. <laughs> There you go. Can't ask yep. for anything better than that, right? Yeah, well, Yeah, anyway. exactly. Yeah, yeah, no, but there's great places out there. And, you know, I, you know, I've seen a lot of little posts on Facebook and social media, you know, um, when you go out Flashback. and get sponsorships for your kid's baseball team or, you know, dance club or whatever, you know, you go to the small businesses. So um, they're in need now. So right. take a minute and support them. And, you know, old brothers who just opened up, I'm just hoping that they can, they can continue because they – excuse me, same with cafe 31. I mean, that's, that yep. was kind of sad to see that they had to be temporary closed, but oh, absolutely, because they're, they're brand new. I mean, they built that brand new building there. And, and then I, yep. you know, you worry about old brothers because the food was excellent. That place was packed yep. constantly. Yep. And, and I've uh, been, we've been there a couple of times and, you know, you've got North Pearl breweries, uh, brewers, you know, that they've got the beer too. So you can pick up crawlers there and you can do takeout from their, um, you know, from their, uh, kitchen there and their food is excellent as well. So, um, you know, everybody's doing, you know, everybody's that can is still doing a little bit of takeout business and, um, you know, in doing a nice service for the community in doing right. that. I know that some of them, um, including bone ends has done, um, you know, free meals for kids. Um, for students and things like that. So I think, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful to live in the community in which we do because um, there's a whole lot of love going out there, even though people are, are scared and uh, tentative. I'm, I'm glad to see that the businesses are still being supported. Yeah. Yeah. And then how, how do we support, how do we help the businesses that aren't, I mean, like, like pub 11, I mean, that's pub 111. That's, that's closed. Uh, Jimmy's pub, those are closed. I mean, what do we do? What do we do for those places that, that couldn't provide a service to, I mean, is there anything we can do? I don't know. You know, I don't know. I don't know if, if, if any of those have, you know, buy online things, um, you know, some of the, some of the restaurants and things, um, you know, you could always buy a gift card. Um, You know, even if you go, Hey, I can't get into town to go to, um, you know, let's say to go to Old Brothers, maybe you can call them and buy a gift card over the phone um, that you can hold to use for a later time to give them a little bit of cash, um, you know, in hand. I'm not sure about the ones that are actually closed. Um, if they have anything through their Facebook pages or anything, a way to support them or buy merchandise. Um, but I guess the biggest thing is, is get out there and support them as soon as everything does reopen. Right. Now you were, you were saying that as far as food goes, cause I know Terry and I pretty much order and, and then go pick up. Or just mm-hmm. me pick up. But anyway, um, what are you, are you still going to the stores or? 
you know, a little bit of both. Um, you know, it, it depends on, you know, how what the day looks like is, you know, takeout and just running into town to Big John's to pick up our pizza, which we did on Sunday. I think it was Sunday, Saturday or Sunday. I went to Big John's and, um, you know, did our t- takeout there. But some it's just, you know, ordering um, delivery, which we did from uh, Gary's in the chamber, uh, the chamber bar. Um, they deliver right to our door. Um, so, you know, taking advantage of the delivery options um, on occasion is, is nice, too. Now, what kind about limiting your contact with people? What about stores like, you know, food to get your food and stuff for your daily? Um, we're in pretty good shape with that. Um, at this point, we've done, you know, I went, I think the last time I was at the store was a week ago Sunday um, and went uh, locally to, I think we went to Montague Foods or Save a Lot. I can't remember which one um, and went to, you know, because I typically shop at those stores and, um, you know, there weren't too many people in there. Uh, go in and get what you have to get and then leave. Right. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing and, you know, trying to just be judicious and wiping down the carts in my hands and, yeah. you know, wiping down things when you bring it home. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely different times. Now, are you wearing a mask yet or no? No, I'm not wearing a mask yet. Um, you know, I just really do this, you know, as much distancing from people as I possibly can. Yeah. Um, I'm fortunately, you know, which healthy. is not you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's, you know, when you are a uh, social being, um, you know, I've got a, I've got a color changing duck that floats in our pool. That's actually, um, uh, a Bluetooth speaker. So he sits on the table next to me when I'm working and he's my company. So, <laughs> so <laughs> got to do yeah. something, right? Yeah. I know. So is, you know, but social media and, you know, being able to connect through zoom and other, you know, um, virtual, you know, meetings and connecting with my family through FaceTime and things like that has been really, really helpful. Right. Um, you know, when you're a little bit isolated and, uh, but you know what, it's, it's good. Um, I don't feel, I feel like, you know, staying home is the most important thing. And, uh, you know, for people who, who can't, um, you know, limiting my exposure to other people is super important. So, um, just to keep everybody else around healthy. That's right. That's right. Okay. You got anything that you wanted to, else you wanted to share as far as the, the playhouse or restaurants or. You know what? It, you just get out there and support the restaurants and, um, you know, keep up on our Facebook page and on our um, website for what's coming up next and where we are with planning things. Um, you know, the shows that we have had to reschedule um, anybody who's purchased tickets. They've already automatically been transferred to the new date. Um, we're asking folks to, if they can attend the new date, to possibly consider making a donation of those tickets to help us get through this financial time. Um, but, you know, we're hoping to get things back up and running in May. Um, but that's all tentative too, depending on, you know, where this goes, if people stay home and, you know, right. stay in place and it, the sooner this gets over, um, or at least gets to the point where it's manageable. Okay. Can we do the Tom Petty thing in, in like maybe June? So we, <laughs> well, actually I've I feel more comfortable. One. Yeah. Well, I've actually discovered, uh, rescheduled that for the end of May. So okay. right now we're at May 30th for the Tom Petty show. So we're hoping that gets us out of the woods, but you know, right now I, my crystal ball is a little bit cloudy. Okay. Yeah. Cause I wanted, I still wanted to go, you know, to see uh, the sound of music with the G man. So, you know, we, I know. that was, that would have been great. We have rescheduled that one too for October. October. So there, there, you go. there you things go. As far into the future as we possibly can, yeah. but with the hope of still doing things in, you know, in May and June. And then of course our summer theater festival that right. we're uh, planning and they're going ahead as if everything's going to work itself out. We're, we're working at that for, you know, June and July or for July and August. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're at the helm because uh, otherwise I don't think it, <laughs> you know, who knows what would happen to our beautiful playhouse if you weren't at the helm. I appreciate well, it. You're so. very kind. You're very kind. I'm, I'm thrilled to be there and uh, it's, it's, a different uh, you know, environment working from home, but I can look out my front windows and look at my trees and, and your duck. The birds sitting on my and my duck. Yeah. My color changing duck. I got to come up with a name for him. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I never thought of that. I got a couple of figurines of some ducks that my sister has sent me from around different places that she went in the world. And uh, I could probably put those up here and look at them too. And maybe talk, start yeah, talking see? to them. <laughs> of course, Terry would probably call them, you know, paramedics for me, but anyway, <laughs> Well, you stay healthy and well, and if uh, there's anything we can do for you, let us know. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks so much, Oscar. I almost called you sir, Breath. I don't know why well, why that almost came out of my mouth, but it did. <laughs> That's so. all right. I've got that manly voice. <laughs> <too>. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Right. Okay. Well, thanks for, thanks for your call. I appreciate it. Yep. Take care. You too.
Bye.